I have my silk pinned to my frame. It needs to be suspended because the gouda is wet when you apply it to the silk. This time I'm going to use a black gouda and I have a little squeeze bottle right here. It's filled up to the top. It has a screw top on here and then a metal nozzle with a fine tip on the end. I'll give you a little hint. When I fill this up, I rest it upside down to let the air bubbles settle and raise to the top here. But still I want to squeeze out some Gouda to make sure that there's no air bubbles in there because you want to get nice, smooth, uninterrupted lines. Okay, so good to go. I'm going to draw a peacock feather. I like to draw my designs freehand. Uh, I really don't have time to trace designs onto fabric and then to try and follow the lines, so I just uh, build the design as I go along. This uh, design looks really busy. It's a, a fun piece that I do. It's got a lot of movement and color in it. can see that I was successful at uh, getting out the air bubbles because all the lines are coming out fairly smooth. I also dilute my Gouda. Uh, Gouda is a, it's a rubber based resist and so I use a bit of uh, paint thinner and then I dilute the Gouda so that it's a consistency for the weight of silk that I'm working on. That's just trial and error. Honestly, you just got to try it. So the lighter the silk, the, the thinner the Gouda can be. Now this is finished here. It's still wet. It needs to dry. And then I'm going to do some silk painting.